Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Hurricane, welcome back to Madden 16 Draft Champions. A little while ago I posted another Draft Champions video showing the drafts in the first two games with this team right here. This has been the most balanced team I think I've drafted in Draft Champions, and I have a setup that I really like. I have a good secondary, I have enough talent on offense, and I'm 2-0 so far in Draft Champions with this team. Here are a couple highlights from those first two games in case you didn't watch that video, although I would recommend that you do check it out. The link to that video is in the description below. But that was game one. It was a really quick rage quit after two interceptions, including one on a fake punt. That led me to game two, a better matchup this time. It's 7 to 7 as I bust off this long screen pass touchdown, 63 yards with Beast Mode himself. However, this game would go all the way to the fourth quarter and still end with a rage quit as Jason McCourty makes the great interception against Julio Jones. Five interceptions from this defense through two games, and now we're up against Randall Cunningham, J.J. Watt, and Earl Thomas in game three. So I know I have to watch out for Randall Cunningham and his dual threat ability, but first up, we're on offense. Third down and eight, and Flacco connects with Jarvis Landry, who was pretty quiet in those first two games, as was the entire offense, really. And here on first down, Flacco's in some trouble as I did not see all the blitzing defenders. And so at second and 17, I call a screen for Theo Riddick, and he gets outside. I try to make a move, but a great tackle upends him after a gain of 10. That does set me up for third and seven as I go deep for Jeremy Ross. Not Brian Finneran, not Jarvis Landry, Jeremy Ross. Go to the ground with Marshawn Lynch. We're now down to the three-yard line. Already in the second quarter as Marshawn Lynch powers ahead to make this a 7-0 game. Good play from the offense, including two key third-down conversions. So now we go to defense, and I have to defend this. Randall Cunningham is even faster than I expected. Defense better be ready. Another option play. Inside goes Bobby Rainey, but we shut that down pretty quickly. Second down and seven. Inside run, and there we are, as the stop is made by Thomas Davis. That forces a third down and five. Another option look. He runs inside, and Geno Atkins continues to hold tough in the middle. But my opponent will go for it on fourth and two. He runs it four plays in a row, and this time it's Quinton Dial on the stop. I love when base players make plays. And after turnovers and turnovers on downs, I want to take a shot downfield, but Robert Quinn takes away that option. I do get back to third and 14, but that pass is knocked down in front of Jarvis Landry. So a quick first half, we're already into the third quarter, as my opponent is down by seven. Lobbing downfield, and that is broken up by Richard Sherman. Great coverage downfield. Now it's a third and four, Cunningham, throw short, that is hauled in for a first down. And we had good coverage on that play too. First down, he's back to pass again as that pass is dropped. I was really impressed with how well my secondary played downfield. I forced a third and 12 and he calls a four verticals play and one of them got open between three defenders. That was a zone blitz by me that I got absolutely no pressure. Now my opponent wants to go back to the ground, and Bobby Rainey's not going anywhere. That's Nigel Bradham. Rainey has six yards on five carries, so my opponent goes back to the air, and that catch is made by Mike Evans. I want to say that's like the first catch Sherman gave up in this round of draft champions. And then, the option defense is still doing a good job. I was focused on stopping Cunningham. Another blitz, no pressure, and that leaves another man open downfield. When zone blitzes don't get to the quarterback, bad things happen to defenses. He's now at my 28. Wants to go down the middle against the cover two. And Nigel Bradham does a great job in that deep linebacker drop. Rolling outside now with Cunningham. He throws on the run and on the money. What a pass. No need to set your feet with a quarterback like Randall Cunningham. And we're now tied up at seven here in the fourth quarter. Second down and five, I find James Hanna, who actually got no forward progress with that. He lost all of his yards he would have gained. So third down and five. Good man coverage downfield as Flacco airmails it in the direction of Hanna. 
And now I'm in some trouble. We're one win away from the championship, but the game is tied only two and a half minutes left as I break up that screen with Melvin Ingram. Big third down and six here. Time for Cunningham. He wants to go downfield, and that's knocked out of the receiver's hands again. But my opponent will go for it on fourth and six. A stop here would be huge. But Cunningham is all day and an open man downfield. We couldn't get any rush, and the main coverage did not hold up on that corner route. So the drive continues. Now at his 41, wants to run the option, and Vic Beastly is all over it. Loss of one on the play. I'm sending another man blitz, and Cunningham spins, throws off his back foot, and the pass is still perfect. That's a gain of nine, setting up third and two. Offset pistol, inside run, and Thomas Davis brings down Bobby Rainey, which means we have another fourth down. My opponent needs four yards. I call a zone blitz and break up the pass with Nigel Bradham. The defense does it again. And now I just need some points. 31 seconds left. Fake dive, here's a pitch. What a move by Lynch to get past J.J. Watt. And he breaks the tackle before heading out of bounds after a gain of 12. Now we're in long distance field goal range. Hand off Lynch. Breaking outside, first down and more. A leap, lost the football, but I recover. Extremely lucky, because that was the dumbest hurdle I've ever done, probably. So I get to kick the field goal, and Billy Cundiff has sent us to the Draft Champions Championship game. I came through late. We got the turnover on downs and the field goal. Now, can I secure my first Draft Champions Championship? I want to get that nice reward pack from winning the title. And I think this team can get it done. But it's not going to be easy as we face LaDainian Tomlinson, whom I think is the best player in Madden 16 right now, period. So we're going to have our hands full on defense. And here we are in the Draft Champions Championship. LaDainian Tomlinson and his electric speed get outside. That's a gain of nine on his first touch. Now on second down and one, it's a play action as Romo sets his feet and finds Tyler Eifert. First good couple of plays, and my opponent is already inside my 45. On second down, Romo swings it outside, and we prevent the catch by LaShawn McCoy. Thankfully, my opponent did not have good receivers. His best is probably this guy right here, but Tomlinson is wrapped up by Cersei, and that brings up a fourth and 13. That won't stop my opponent from going for it, but I do prevent him as Cersei makes the tackle just a yard shy of the mark. Big turnover on downs to start the championship. Handoff now goes to Lonnie Pryor as he picks up five yards. Third down and three. I go to a three wide set and there's Jarvis Landry who will hang on and pick up the first down. First quarter already winding down as Marshawn Lynch goes straight ahead. Through a safety for a first down. Out of the offset pistol now. Handoff goes to Lonnie Pryor. And again, the fullback does a good job for me. He's actually doing a lot more than Brian Finneran. Third down and three now for Flacco. A deep shot. One on one. Jeremy Ross makes it a touchdown. That was a matchup between two base players. And Jeremy Ross makes it a 7-0 game. Back to defense now, and look at Dial continue to make plays, stopping LaDainian Tomlinson that time. Back to the air, and that time our defense cannot prevent the catch. Great job by the receiver. Second down and eight. Play action for Romo. He wants the outside, and there is Tyler Eifert for a big first down grab. Two minutes left to go here in the first half. As his receiver gets open, it's Pierre Garcon beating Darquez Denard. And that's a touchdown for my opponent. Seven apiece, as the Denard for both sides has given up a touchdown. Now can I get the lead back before halftime? Not if Brian Finneran drops passes in traffic. Seriously, I'm waiting for this guy to make a play. Third and 11. Flacco to the seam. Jeremy Ross broke a tackle. Ross in the clear. 15, 10, showboating. Cut from behind, but still a touchdown. Jeremy Ross is the man, and he scored both of my touchdowns here in the championship game. 14-7, still some time to go in the half, as that was almost a crazy catch for Tyler Eifert. 
Second down and 10. Romo from the pocket, down the middle, and batted away. That was Thomas Davis in coverage. So our defense is stepping up, but now LaDainian Tomlinson. Great time for a screen as Tomlinson uses his elite speed to pick up the first down. Now at the 38-yard line. Romo dumps it off, and I lost track of LaDainian Tomlinson on the block and release. So he gets another first down catch and run. To the air once again, and that's another catch. First down inside my 40 as he calls a timeout with 23 seconds left. First down and 10. Romo off the mark for Pierre Garcon, who again got open against Denard. 19 seconds left to go. Another screen is called, and Ladanian Tomlinson won't go anywhere. There's Vic Beasley once again. Third and 13. No pressure, he takes a shot to the end zone, and it's almost a catch, but broken up at the last second. And instead of a 54-yard field goal attempt, he'll go for it, and Romo misses once again. I end up not allowing any points on the drive, and I have time for maybe one quick play to set up a deep pass to the end zone. Here's Jarvis Landry picking up blocks, making a move. Landry inside the 20. He's going to go all the way. 63 yards on a drag. Forget setting up for a deep pass. I just follow my blocks with Jarvis Landry, and he makes it a two-score game right in front of halftime. Now we go to the second half, and I win three and out to begin the half, so we go to my opponent's possession, as there's a nice deflection again. I've said his name a lot. Nigel Bradham making plays. Third and three, and Romo is again off the mark. His accuracy is becoming an issue. So another fourth down. He needs three. Give to Tomlinson, and that's the third turnover on downs I have forced in this game. I then ran some clock and punted it back. We're now in the fourth quarter, same score, and that is deflected. How many pass breakups and interceptions has this team gotten me? Second down, and Richard Sherman takes it out of the air. Pierre Garcon's not winning that matchup. Sherman has another pick, and will continue running the ball. Marshawn Lynch in the open field, inside the 20, staying in bounds as the clock will continue running. We saw this play before. Here's the Theo Riddick screen as I make a move and right into TJ Lang as I go down. But still picking up the first down is Riddick. And then on second and goal, it's a run commit and I was passing the whole way. Touchdown, Brian Finneran. As I get our number three receiver involved. 21 point game, my opponent takes over and I immediately take it back with Denoris Searcy. We have controlled this fourth quarter. And now Marshawn Lynch wants to make it a 28-point game. And he will do just that. Points coming in a hurry. 35-7. Here's a third down pass. One-on-one -on -one deep. Hauled in by Jason McCourty. Three interceptions in a row. And look at all these moves I'm pulling off with McCourty. And then I lateraled it. I didn't think I'd make that guy miss. That was a pretty sick return too until that happened. So my opponent gets the touchdown, and there's your final. I have won the Draft Champions Championship for the first time. Joe Flacco is a champion once again. What an elite performance, by the way. Four touchdowns on seven completions. And we held the Danian Tomlinson to 20 yards rushing, 23 receiving, and Jeremy Ross. Two touchdowns, 109 yards. Who is the championship MVP? Is it Joe Flacco? Is it Jeremy Ross? Is it Jarvis Landry? I don't know. You guys decide in the comments section who is the MVP of the championship. But I got this elite head-to-head -head reward pack, so we'll open this up to end the video. I get the Devon Kennard, then a couple uh, Draft Champions badges, quick sells, Deion Lewis, another Draft Champions badge, 100 more coins, 125 more, another badge, 150 more coins, maybe just bundle those up together. And then Scott Tolzien. So, not an exciting way to wrap up the pack, but I did win the championship, and I'm one Draft Champions badge away from a double elite player pack for my ultimate team. So hopefully next time in Mutt, I can open that up. But thank you guys for watching. That was an extremely fun session of Draft Champions. 
If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for much more draft champions to come. I can't wait to play some more and see what else I can do with a brand new team. Hopefully it has Jeremy Ross. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, which will help other people find my channel and enjoy these videos as well. And comment below who is the championship MVP and is Joe Flacco Elite? Let me know in the comment section below. Have a great day guys, hope you enjoyed these two draft champions videos, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.